Last time we looked at um, getting information displayed in the text window. The text window object allows us to access the um, text window. So I press run. The text window is this black box here. And as you can see, my program at the moment says, please make a choice between rock, paper, or scissors. And that's exactly what's inside my parameter here. To actually get information and, and actually um, ask the user for some information, what I need to do is first of all create a variable. I'm going to call this variable player. What a variable is, is basically a block of memory somewhere in the computer where I can store values that someone's entered or values that I've calculated or any value I want to in the fact. Because I want to um, put something into it, I use the equal sign. I then, because I'm getting information from the text window, I need to then use the text window object. And again, like last time, I press the full stop. And last time we were writing to it, this time I want to read. So I'm going to find the read function, double click on it. And as you see, it creates it with two empty brackets and there's nothing inside it. You don't put anything inside that because the idea is that it will ask the user in the text window when the program runs to enter a value. I'm going to run this. Let's see how it works. You can see now it doesn't say press any key. It's got a flashing little cursor. And now when I type on the keyboard, you can see text appears. So I can now enter text into the text window. And that's exactly what read does. And it will keep going until I press enter. And once I press enter, it will take whatever I've entered and store it into this variable. So then, once it's stored in this variable, I can access it later and use it to do other things. Well, let's see how to display it first. I'm going to show the code to display it. So like before, it's text window right line. I can then put some text in, so something like you have selected. And then I'm going to stop the quotation mark. I'm going to put plus sign in. And I'm going to put the name of my variable player. So what I'm saying here is display this bit of text then add on to it whatever's inside the variable, whatever the user's entered. So the code now reads, display this text here, get some input from the user and store it in the variable player. Then you need to print out you have selected and add on to it the contents of the variable player. So let's run that and let's see what happens. So if I type in rock, it then says you have selected rock. So play became rock, and then it displayed you have selected plus player or plus rock. Then run it again and type in paper, and this time it says you have selected paper. And I can do that again, and I can enter anything I want to. And it will print out whatever I type in. This is the first step of creating our rock, paper, scissors game, and all it's done is allowed the user to enter a choice.